All right, uh, this is what my case looks like this week, as far as I can tell. And usually I need Marie to help me. I, I noticed one empty spot, and it was on this shelf. Um, not selling any game stuff, um, but I noticed one empty spot, and I'm coming up to it. It's, it's right here. And I really couldn't remember what I sold, but Marie's good like that. You know, I, was, I would find out like when I'd go home, I'd be like, I know I sold something, I just don't know what I sold. Um, but fortunately, Marie remembers things for me. Uh, I sold a cassette. Um, I had a micro cassette recorder. I priced it like 10 bucks. It was very cheap. I should have sold it a long time ago. Uh, but that's it. That's all I can tell right now. Um, so, so far, for me, there's no rhyme or reason to what sells in this, uh, in this place. Um, so in a sense, I'm stockpiling uh, and kind of hoarding things that if I do an antique show, I can come here and raid it and put more stuff in. Now, I, I really didn't know if I was going to sell much this week, so I didn't bring much to put in. And it's actually going to be a struggle to fit in the few items that I, that I did bring, but I'll go through them in a minute in the next portion of this video. Okay, uh, this is it. This is all that I'm going to try and fit in the case uh, this week, and it looks like it's going to be tight, but uh, I'm sure with removing structuring around, it'll be okay. Um, I've had this forever. It's just a cute little Lennox baby seal. It's, I don't know, almost 28 years old right now. Um, I put it at $12. I bought this with other ones a long time ago. I think 12 is fair for it. Um, this is a, it's a hobnail Fenton vase and I have from the 1940s. I only put 10 bucks on it. I think that's reasonable. Uh, I could certainly put more for it if I were to put it online, but I'm not going to. I just don't want to do the work. And I need filler stuff for the case. That's not expensive. As as this was just sitting on my shelf and I'm like, what, what am I doing with this? It's not even worth taking to the flea market, so I'm going to put it in the showcase for like five bucks and it's, it's just a cat it's cute somebody wants it on the show um, here's a chrome parrot bottle opener and and um, wine bottle and beer bottle opener from the 1920s I put ten dollars on it I can on eBay this sells twenty to thirty dollars and it's for me it's a lot of pictures I don't want to do the work so I'd rather just sell it for ten I do that all the time stuff that sells on eBay uh, made in Wales, pretty ugly pottery mug. Um, stuff that sells for for thirty on eBay, I'll take it to flea market. I'll sell it for ten. Stuff that sells for a hundred on eBay, I'll take it to flea market. I'll sell it for forty. I don't want to do the work. I have too much ahead of me. Most of the times, I just put the stuff that isn't selling at flea markets on eBay that I can't sell. Um, I put ten bucks on this mug. Um, this is the most expensive thing I'm putting in today. And then uh, the second thing, that's my heavy hitter, I'll show there. It doesn't look very special. It's just a little blue bird, but I'll talk about it in a second. Um, oh, I took a Wii, and it's a, it's a nice clean Wii. It's got the lids and everything. And uh, it's got all the parts that you need to work it, and they're clean. And I added a Super Mario Brothers Wii game with it, 60 bucks. Now, I might have put it in for 50, uh, which I would think would be an easy sale, but I, I didn't because at, at this booth, um, I have to pay 20% from my sale. So if I put it in for 60, I'd only be getting, I mean, if I put it in for 50, I'd only be getting like, I don't know, um, 40. And I think I could sell the game by itself for maybe 15 to 20. I don't know. I just, it, I've had this at the flea market, this game. And Wii's, I don't, they don't sell for me. So I figured, eh, if it's going to sit somewhere, i got plenty of Wii's. I'll put one in here and see what happens, you know. Um, the most... Well, it's not even the most expensive thing, because that's the most expensive thing I, I'm putting in. But the smallest and most pricey piece of glass I'm putting in today. And I can certainly put this online and sell it for a, at least a little bit more than what I'm pricing. I priced it at uh, 45 bucks. But um, if you could read my card, I don't know if you could. This is a piece of Baccarat, Baccarat actually. Uh, Baccarat. Um, Baccarat. Baccarat is not a game. Um, they're a glass manufacturer. I don't know if you can see the hallmark on it, uh, but it's also signed on the side over here. Uh, it's actually in pretty good. Hello. <laughs> it's actually in pretty good condition, and I just I didn't want to take I didn't want to let it sit with other things online. I figured I'd give it a shot here and see if somebody wants it. Anyway, that's what I'm fitting in today. So 
fortunately, while I was here, uh, I sold two things to one of the um, workers, a uh, cashier person here at the antique collectible malls. I sold uh, that mug, the ugly mug I was just about to put in. Ugly mug, the puzzle mug. And I had a puzzle mug up here. Um, I did reduce the price for the person, puzzle so picture, right? I sold the puzzle picture for 20 and I sold the ugly mug for 8 which I had 10 on it. Uh, on this shelf, I think you added the Fenton and the, and, and the Baccarat Blue, and that's it. You really didn't change much. Mm -hmm. On this shelf, you had to reorganize everything over here. We because added the, the Lennox Baby Seal. Yeah, and uh, the, the Wii. Wii. And that's it, right? Yeah. We just moved stuff around. Yeah, to I took make it some fit. toys out of the back and we put them at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, this shelf, I uh, added parrot. the parrot bottle opener, yeah. and I added the cat. <laughs> it's a stupid cat. You know how long that's been on our shelves? Yeah. I just figured out, let's, you know what, I'm tired of looking at that dusty cat. I cleaned it off and I put Didn't five bucks on it. Down there. No, it's pretty much the same, I guess. Yeah, okay. And at the bottom, I had, we put those toys in the wood bowl. Right, I moved the Batman, I took this from the, the shelf that was here. I ran out of room over there, and uh, and that's it, right? Okay, let me. I'm gonna take some pictures. Um, this is going to be a quick video of me, again, testing out my spy pen while I'm walking up and down the cases. And I figure, and I'm just holding it as if, I don't know, like you would hold a microphone, I guess. So the audio should be really good. Um, I can really, I can really get, like, grab it and do close-ups on things that I want to look at and whatever. But anyway, the point of this video, and I'll make it quick is to talk about uh, YouTube and its demonetizing of um, YouTube creators. And a lot of people have talked about like uh, the thousand subscriber minimum, which is very easy. I mean, you can look at that and say like 1,000 subscribers. I have 800 subscribers. I need 200 more subscribers. Uh, it's simple math. But a lot of people don't really understand the 4,000 hours of view a year a year and I'm just gonna do some simple explanation on that a little bit of math and break it down for you right now um, 4,000 hours of, of video view time works out to uh, 2,000 minutes 20,000 minutes a month of view time if your videos are getting 20,000 minutes a month of view time because what's confusing about the way YouTube shows it is YouTube basically shows you minutes you know and when you say well how does that convert to hours especially when you're breaking it down over like periods of time and months right um, and if you just do simple math if you do 20,000 minutes and you divide that by 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour right It'll work out to 333 hours, and if you times that by 12 uh, for the 12 months, that works out to exactly uh, 4,000 hours of view time. So, if uh, you have a thousand subscribers, but you're not sure about your your view time in terms of hours, it's as simple as this: Are you getting 20,000 minutes of view time? Per month are you averaging that are you having better months than other 
what are they adding up to? So you, if you want to know if you're going to be demonetized, just look at your minutes. And if you're getting 20,000 minutes of view time a month, then you'll be safe. If you're not, um, then it doesn't really matter how many subscribers you have. You can have like 100,000 subscribers and oh, 40. Look at that. I like video game stuff. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I, I was like, is that $10? It says $40 each. So, bummer. $40 is more than I get for these lately. They only sell for $25. Um, so anyway, back to my simple explanation. Simple as this. Uh, you need 20,000 minutes of view time per month or your total needs to add up to... Uh, God, well, I guess in terms of minute, 20,000 uh, minutes times 12 which would be like uh, 240,000 minutes of view time per year. Um, again, this is, uh, they have two standards on YouTube now. They have um, views, uh, hours of view, and they have subscribers. Subscribers are easy to figure out. Viewer time uh, is easy if you just uh, go by the math that I've given you. 20,000, as long as it averages out to 20,000, a minutes of view time a month you are good my spy pen out in this uh, antique mall uh, I've never really noticed this case before but apparently everything in this case is $49.95 um, I like perfumes but I am not sure If these perfumes would be worth that, well, I know for a fact white diamonds is. And And I was like, here's a case I would have been in that has a lot of stuff. But it's like $49.95. And I'm like, some of the perfumes I know would be okay at that price, but some would be too expensive. But it turns out that that was an auction case. They auctioned off the entire case. They were having case auctions. Yeah, they were doing, oh, so, and he said it was impromptu, or, because yeah, I, I didn't get a Facebook notification of it. Probably only the people on the know. I didn't get an email either. A case auction email. auction set up like now that you could look at or is it just like no, it's, they just throw it, it together it did, and it was done i guess they, they contacted people yeah maybe so, like so probably said, what they maybe do. it's people that owned owed rent money or it could have been them they might have done a clean house and got, and got a bunch of stuff and they just no those are cases that have been there a while it's not it's not so you've seen they, those perfumes and stuff yes, I saw okay last time so maybe there. it's just someone so who's it's, like it's not that they peppered it with their right. stuff Okay. Their stuff. It so it's just like legit. Stuff. Yeah, it was legit cases because a few of the cases that went were the ones in the back that were like the depression glass, the yellow glass, and right? Like, you know, the Vaseline glass. Yeah, and, stuff yeah. I wouldn't have had interest in. Uh, so much. People bought the whole case. Right. I think both of those cases went, and they, those have been there since day one. I would have been. So on but I that. assume. Yeah. As because I walk around that place every week. I told him that. I said I walk around. I look to see what sells. Right. And I said, and and I didn't tell him this, but those 
two cases that are at the crushing glass, nothing was selling it. No, it's probably not the place Because there was one it. case that was all milk glass. Right. You know, and, and nothing was selling. this isn't a milk glass. So the person was probably, like, fed up, said, I can't afford these cases. Just and put it into auction, and I'm off, done. And I'm done. Yeah, I would never do that, personally. Uh, if I, if I, I'd rather give it away than to, to be like that, because, you know, I, that's what I was doing when I was going to Columbus. No, I'd rather get a few bucks for it than give it away. No, I would try to get money for it, but I, if well, I take it out, I don't want to I was asking him, I was like, well, what would you charge to rent me a case for the evening that I could fill a case with stuff? Nah, they'd probably just get a commission on stuff. Yeah. Let me finish. So, I can fill a case with stuff that I, I want to, I mean, decent stuff, like it could be milk glass, it could be carnival glass, it could be things that I just can't sell anymore because right. nobody wants it anymore. Yeah. If I can fill a case and get 200 bucks for the whole case, right. why not, you know? Sure. But so, I asked him, I said, well, what would you charge if I wanted to just rent a case for the evening? Yeah. And it kind of boggled his mind. Well, I he figured he, that... He didn't think... Nah, he probably doesn't have to do anything do that. He probably thinks well, why that... why wouldn't I think to do that? No, You're probably, a case auction and it's the whole case. No, nah, but... I can fill a case. What he probably says is, okay, I got I can fill a case of jewelry. No, 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 I hear you. Probably what he does is, here's an empty case, put your stuff in, I get 20%, or I get 30%, or no, I get 40%. all the cases that were up were cases that have been there for a while. All the cases that he showed me, because he pretty much walked me around and showed me every case. Right. Why, I don't know, but he did. Well, every case that's for auction, or just every, every case? Every case that's sold. Okay. At auction. Well, he probably wants you to come to the auction because he probably was like, yeah, a lot of this stuff's so pretty damn cheap and I want to make more money. So if I if I show people, like, look, this one for such a... Because that particular case I was showing with the perfume, I would have bid way higher than two As long as I have the money, I would bid up to my limit on that because there was a lot of good stuff there. You know, I didn't price everything yet, but I was like, 200 is cheap at auction for that entire case. And he said, plus it was the stuff on top of the case. Which I didn't even show in the video before this, you know. Um, but I would like to go to his case auctions. I would not like to put stuff in his case auctions because auctions, especially like. Well, you put a reserve. All of the cases had a reserve. Yeah, but I like. Only one case he showed me went for less. Like the guy wanted 150. No. Oh yeah, you're right. 254, and it went for a uh, hundred. And the guy and the guy said, "Okay, you sell for hundred." Yeah, that, that so one lady. It has a it has a reserve, but if it's below the reserve, they, they won't sell it. Okay, yeah. Say yay or nay as to whether you'd sell it for less. The uh, the perfume case, he said it. It had a reserve of hundred, and it went for two hundred. You know? Well, that one was one of the few ones that went for more than, <laughs> the, than what the person yeah, actually wanted. Yeah, I wasn't there. I would have went for well, a lot. Well, the other ones went for. Okay. So anyway, it's like I want to. I'm going to check Facebook. I have them, them like, but I don't really check Facebook so much. So you know, they should show up on my feed. But probably what I should do is I should check their thing. And I didn't get an email, so I, you know, that, that's that's something to talk about. All right. But I guess we're done talking about that. Yeah. Uh, if you're done. Yeah, I think so. We were just talking about like what how some auctions get paid. And if it's a better auction, usually auctions get paid from, from the buyer and the seller. Uh, sometimes they like to not charge the buyer a lot. Sometimes they like to not sell, uh, charge the seller a lot. But I think in general, auction commissions, were, depending on the item and how much it goes for, it could actually be very high. It could be like 40-50% if it's nonsense. No, but if it's nonsense, you know, sometimes if it doesn't sell, like, I've been to some auctions where something sells for, like, a couple of bucks, and they're like, this is a waste of our time. You know, if it doesn't sell for at least five bucks, we're keeping the money, and it's in the contract, you know. Um, usually those are, like, um, what, a little bouncing. I'm just holding the pen, like a microphone right now. Um, but I think normally uh, auctions will get about anywhere from 10 to 20 percent from both the buyer and the seller. And I think 10 to 15 is, is more normal. Uh, and if you're doing high-end stuff, I think it, it could be in the 10% range. But I think uh, some auctions actually get 20. So it's like, that's a lot. I mean, a lot of people think about like, oh, as a seller, I already know I gotta pay a commission. But also as a buyer, they take money from you. And that's what, that way for them, if they spread the cost, they don't just stick it to the buyer or the seller, and they wind up making anywhere from 20 to 40%. Well, he didn't tell me 